Hey everyone, so I know it's been a long time, but we are back working on the four wheel camper shell Eagle model. Um, we're building some cabinets in it and just kind of getting some things ready for longer trips this summer. Um, we're planning on spending a couple months in it. And so in order to do that, we need to make it a little bit more livable inside, but just wanted to give you all an update and kind of show you what we've been working on. So we already have the top and the side of the cabinet cut. Here you can see we are measuring the cabinet doors and using the straight edge of the plywood to where they meet together in the center. closer look of the cabinet countertop. Uh, this is just birch plywood stained and it's got its fifth coat of sealant on it. Come in here we can see what's kind of going on. So we've got a cabinet coming in on the left side here with the two doors and then we're going to go ahead and build the same thing over here on the right side. All right so I got the majority of my one by threes cut. Um, this cabinet is going to come over here 14 inches, so about where the window is, and now it's time to drill some pocket holes and get these built. And to build the cabinets, we used one by threes for the framing, and then we used pocket holes and wood glue to join them all together. Uh, the purpose of these cabinets isn't really to hold that much weight, more just storage and organization. So we weren't too worried about it being a perfect build, but we wanted something that looked seamless and matched everything pretty well. All right, so we're getting the general framing of this cabinet all done here. Everything is pocket holed together and glued, and then it is just screwed into the main frame of this little bench seat right here. So it's gonna have a door that opens on the front and a countertop to match the one behind it. All right, so we've got the first coat of sealant on the two main cabinet doors here and here. This is the countertop for the second cabinet, the back of the door for the cabinet, and the back of the siding. So if we come in here and take a look, all right, so we got the last coat of paint going on the outside trim of this cabinet. And once again, we've got this side finished up. We pretty much have this cabinet done. The doors are in um, right now. Just have the super simple latches. Um, and we are going to be putting some door hardware on there in a little bit better way to secure it. But for now, these are functional. One more thing that we're doing is Going ahead and painting these little hatches to get to the bed of the truck for the tie downs. Um, they hadn't been painted yet whenever we did them. So we've got those over here. This is the cabinet door. And we've got the four little entry hatches getting painted up. And then we've got the side drying and this is the countertop for the next cabinet. 
right, so the entry hatches are pretty much dry and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall them back. So these are all labeled as to where they go and we'll show you what they look like in the camper. All right, so these just come and sit in here like this. And they latch here, so once we get them on, I'm going to go ahead and put the other three hatches on and then we will start with gluing the side of the cabinet. The glue is dry on the side, so we're gonna go ahead and hang the door and then we'll get the latch installed and see what it looks like from there. Here we go with the cabinet door. And now we'll get the latch. So we've just got this super simple roller catch cabinet latches. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and install those and we'll go from there. been a couple days so that means that the polyurethane has had plenty of time to cure and what we're going to do today is go ahead and get these glued down onto the top of the counters and then we'll go from there. about 24 hours of letting the wood glue dry so we're going to go ahead and take the clamps off of the cabinet countertops and check to make sure everything looks like it dried correctly we're currently using a 440 watt solar battery bank in the camper right now for the lights um, it, it runs it just fine it runs the fridge and we're just kind of using this setup for now until we get something a little more permanent
And same thing on the larger countertop. Um, we used some painter's tape on top of the polyurethane just to try to protect the coat. Um, and I think it did a pretty good job as far as just making sure we didn't have any indents or scratches on the countertop. Here we have a look at the completed project. Countertops are on, doors are in. We've got a little idea of stuff that's gonna be sitting inside these cabinets, uh, mostly cooking and storage on this one. And then we're gonna have a little bit of clothes storage in this one. But countertops turned out great and we're gonna get ready for the next project. All right, well that wraps it up for the countertop project and the cabinet build. Um, the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do for this camper in order to get it ready for some longer trips is we need to build a permanent raised structure on the bottom of this camper. Um, since it is made for a Tacoma or a Ford Ranger, one of the smaller trucks, it actually has to sit on top of a platform about three inches high to fit over the sides of the truck, truck bed. Um, so yeah, that'll be next and uh, we'll bring you back in when that's ready.